Hello everyone and happy Thanksgiving. I'm Adam Rucker and it is actually Thanksgiving Day right now and I thought it would be um, cool, well not necessarily cool. I Here's the deal, I haven't made anything for my family Thanksgiving lunch, dinner yet and I need to do that and so I figured I could show you how to make something last minute and um, you know, we'd all benefit from it. So um, I found a recipe for cranberry sauce on the Pioneer Woman's website. You know Pioneer Woman, she's a blogger, um, she makes food. And I trust her most of all because I guess she was out on the plains making things, so she would know. But um, so we're gonna make cranberry sauce today. It seems pretty easy. Um, basically the ingredients are a bag of cranberries here, which I've already washed and presented extremely well, so I hope you give me credit for that. Uh, a cup of cranberry juice, and this is um, this is actual cranberry juice. It says 100% cranberry juice. This is not cranberry juice cocktail because we all know that that is um, all sugar. Thanks, Mean Girls. And then you've got a cup of maple syrup and three tablespoons of orange juice. So she swears this is going to take less than 15 minutes. So here we go. So wash the cranberries under cool water. Dump into a medium saucepan. I've already washed them, so I'm gonna. I'll just go ahead and dump them here. Um, like that. And then I had some extra that didn't fit in those bowls. Um, but I didn't I didn't think this would be cool to sit out, so anyway, whatever. So you've got cranberries. Okay. Pour in one cup of cranberry juice. Um, here's my cup measure. Alright. So one cup cranberry. Juice. Now y'all know what cranberries are. Those they're those berries that um, and I did wash my hands so I could do this. They're those berries that sit in those big pools on those commercials where that old man and the younger guy are sitting out in the cranberries and the young guy's kind of an idiot and the old man always makes him look stupid. Um, that's what cranberries are. So one cup of cranberry juice, uh, one cup maple syrup. Now this is great value maple syrup, but it is maple syrup. Hopefully, no one will be the wiser. Now, cranberry sauce, for those of you that don't know what it is, it's that jello stuff that usually is shaped like a can, like a, like a, like a can of soup. Um, that's what, holy moly, a whole cup of syrup. All right, here we go. Looks good. Um, Orange juice. I think it just said three tablespoons, so one of these is a tablespoon. Mm. Uh -huh. okay. So three of those. One, two, three. So I wanted to bring just the you know the can and cut it up into slices, but my sister was horrified at that, and she said, "No, you know that takes." No effort, which I, I highly disputed. Get, just going to Walmart at all to find the cans is effortful. So I, but anyway, I'm making this. So all right, so pour it all in there, stir together on high heat till it turns to boil. So okay, I'm gonna grab this camera here, so you can watch me put it on my stove, which is impeccably clean. Don't even look at it. All right, so that's on high. I'm gonna put the mixture there. Seems kind of weird to be boiling cranberries, but I guess it'll do. If the Pioneer Woman says so, I'm gonna do it. All right, so I need to tell it turns to boil. Once it comes to rolling boil, turn the heat down to medium low. Continue cooking over low heat for about 10 minutes or until the juice is thick. Okay, so it needs to boil and then go to medium and then continue for 10 more minutes. Okay, I thought she said this whole thing was gonna be 15 minutes, but we'll see. Right now you are in the cabinets with um, Tupperware, some rocks. Don't ask questions, okay. Um, so I need to mix this together. Okay, here's the problem. When you don't organize your Tupperware, it can all come crashing down. Luckily it didn't, but I'm mixing, I'm mixing, I'm mixing. We should be to a rolling boil soon, hopefully. 
there's any luck. All right, let me show you up close what we've got going here. Basically, um, cranberries. They're getting hot. You can smell them. Have you ever had a cranberry? What do they even... Ooh, they're popping now. Uh, what do they even taste like? Oh, crap. Okay, I need to stay back. Um, fun little fact about Adam. I keep most of my fortune, uh, fortune cookie fortunes right here. Endurance and persistence will be rewarded. Keep true to the dreams of your youth. Every person is the architect of his or her own fortune. Action is the basis of success. And finally, soon you will be sitting on top of the world. If only. If only. Okay, now we're getting to a rolling boil here. Pioneer Woman said that would happen. So, once that happens, it's funny, like, look at all how the cranberries, they've all split open. Okay, all right, all right, calm down. Calm down! Okay, I'm gonna go to medium low now. I'm gonna turn the fan on so we don't set any fires off. Um, I'm gonna consult my recipe here. 10 minutes on the clock. Where's the clock? Where's the clock? Where's the clock? How do I? Oh. All right. So this we're in the final ten. Here we go. Here we go. I hope this turns out okay. All right. How exciting! We are less than two minutes away from fresh cranberry sauce. I've got some cranberry sauce on my camera here. Hold on. Okay. Um, and she said, you know, it's done when it's thick. But, can I tell you a secret that is true? I've never had cranberry sauce, so I don't know how thick it's supposed to be. So I'm not sure. I mean, it appears to be thick-ish, thicky. So I don't know. I mean, look, it's, I guess, is that, by the time you tell me if it's thick or not, you, it's, this is gonna be too late. We're gonna be chomping into this. Um, okay, so anyway, it's, we're, we're less than a minute to wait. We've got the countdown coming. This cranberry sauce, it smells delicious. Um, but again, I've never had it, never tasted it, so I don't, know, I don't know. All I know is that there's cranberries, maple syrup, and orange juice in there, so it's gotta be good. I mean, there's a cup of maple syrup in here. Come on, so. Uh, 30 seconds, keep stirring, keep stirring. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one! Okay, here we go. Look at that. It has all of a sudden turned into the thickest, most cranberry sauciest cranberry sauce I have ever made. This is the first time I've made it. Now the Pioneer Woman has, you know, uh, you know these little cute little jars that she puts her stuff in. I'm gonna choose from one of these lovely um, Tupperware pieces here. Um, let me see. There's just so many options. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna go to the reserve, the 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 uh, the Tupperware uh, cabinet. This is just the this is just the 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 riffraff. I've got something up my sleeve. All right, Pioneer Woman may have special jars, but right up here by my fake. Uh, paper plates. I've got this plate bowl that I have from Target. I'm gonna dump the uh, mixture in there, put a little uh, saran wrap on top, and call it a day. So, um, all right, how am I gonna do this with the camera? Here, I'm gonna just put the camera right here. Plate level. Give you a plate's eye view of what we've got going. Mmm, look at that. Cranberry sauce. What a treat. So there you have it. Adam's homemade fresh cranberry sauce. If you want to see what my family thinks of it, uh, follow me on <laughs> follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Adam Rucker. I'll give you everyone's reactions. I may even put up a little Instagram video just so you can get the the, the feeling of it. Instagram uh, my username is AJ Ruck, A J R U C K. So thanks for watching today. Hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving. Leave a comment below with what you are bringing to Thanksgiving dinner. And if you're not bringing anything, what is your favorite uh, thing to eat 
there. Mine would be cheesy potatoes or um, mashed potatoes or um, french fries, but people don't usually have them. But basically anything with french fries. Uh, basically anything with potatoes. I really like french fries, so, uh, as you can tell. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Hope you have a great holiday, and uh, hey, there's my Christmas tree. I know everyone's going to start setting up soon, so I'm already done. Ah! See ya. I just have to say the aftermath of this makes it look like I was cooking brains, so be careful. You know, make sure you clean up because you don't want someone to stumble in and think it's a crime scene and then get arrested and your family has to get a lawyer and do all that stuff. It's Thanksgiving Day. Like, don't do that to your family. You know, at least it, just clean up. It's not that hard. Um, just run the water, put some soap in it, call it a day. I mean, look at that. It looks like blood. I'm going to have to mop this whole place down. I've seen CSI. I know how this works. Adam.